Today I wanted to talk about something that I personally am very passionate about. As you guys may or may not know, as I have stated in the past before, I love the ocean and I am currently studying to become a marine biologist. I hope to get a PhD someday in shark research specifically. And because I love sharks so much, that's what this story culminates around, is my love for sharks and people who also love sharks but are going about it the wrong way. The subject of today's video is someone known as Ocean Ramsey. Yes, Ocean is her real name. For those of you who aren't in the marine biology scene like I am, let me break this down for you. Ocean Ramsey is a diving instructor and self-proclaimed shark activist. Um, she's one of those people that always uh, dives with sharks and wants to show people that sharks are not the man-eaters that they've always been told that they are. Which is good, but she's doing something that's not really that great, and she's also lying about a lot, which is what I'm going to talk about in this video. Now, I first heard about Ocean Ramsey through Instagram. Um, I follow her on Instagram, and um, she always posts pictures of her diving with sharks, and I thought, this is great. She's getting all close to these sharks, and it shows that just because something has a bad reputation doesn't mean that it's what it's cracked out to be, which is good. Now, I did a bit of digging, and though it is a bit old, she has been caught up in a bit of controversy before. Like I said, it's about... Um, a year old, maybe a little more than a year at this point, but it's still very relevant today because what she is practicing is still going on and it needs to be stopped. All right, so to start off, let's go to her website and see what she's all about. All right, so we went to the about section and this is what we're looking at. So we're not going to read all of this because it's a lot, but uh, I'm just going to read some of the most interesting parts for you. I'm a marine biologist, shark and marine conservationist, professional freediver, professional scuba instructor, surfer, swimmer, yogi, and professional model. I achieved my associate's degree in behavioral sciences, psychology. My undergraduate was marine biology and master's studies ethology, the study of animal behavior, specifics on shark behavior, body language, social hierarchy, and how they react and interact with their environment. Alright, so right off the bat, there's a bunch of shit going on. So, it says that she has a bachelor's degree in marine biology. That's not enough to call yourself a marine biologist. You can't just get a degree and say that you are a marine biologist. That's not how it works. You actually have to have extensive research in a field and have to at least help with, like, some public papers or something. Like, you can't just get a degree in business and call yourself a businessman. That's not how it works. So I did some more digging and it turns out that she has a book, but other than that, there are no peer-reviewed research publications by her. So you can't just write a book and call yourself a marine biologist. I, I know I keep saying that, but I'm trying to drive the point in. Point is, there is nothing that she has done to call herself a marine biologist. There just isn't. So already, she's not real. She's completely fake. That's just the way it is. She doesn't have any credentials whatsoever to call herself a marine biologist. She just doesn't. By that logic, since I make YouTube videos, I can call myself a YouTuber. Like, I don't even have 100 subscribers yet, but if I make YouTube videos by that logic, I'm a YouTuber. You know what? That's it. I'm going to start calling myself a YouTuber from now on. I'm going to change my Instagram uh, account that says that I'm a YouTuber right now. So TLDR, Ocean Ramsey, not a real marine biologist. So now that we've gotten it out of the way that Ocean Ramsey is not who she says she is, let's talk about why she got into hot water, why she got into so much controversy. So for those of you who don't follow the Daily Shark News like I do, let me give you the lowdown. So Deep Blue, aka the biggest great white shark ever discovered, she's about over 20 feet long, that's gigantic. Um, she recently made an appearance uh, by Hawaii, where Ocean Ramsey does her work. Now, Ocean Ramsey was fortunate enough to actually freedive with this massive shark. Now, a little bit more background. Um, Deep Blue came out of the depths because um, 
she was believed to be pregnant, and they were by a sperm whale carcass that had just died, and there were a few sharks around it. And Deep Blue came up to presumably feed on the carcass, to uh, feed her young. So let's put you in this scenario. You are free diving with probably the most powerful apex predator on the planet, and the biggest of its kind, no less. And especially when it's pregnant, it's trying to go about its day. It's trying desperately to get food to nurture its uh, litter. I can assume the last thing you would do is what she did, which is reach out and start touching it. Yes, that's right. Ocean Ramsey started touching the massive shark. Now, when this came out and, like, footage of this aired, there were two sides to this. There was the one side that was like, wow, this is great! It shows that sharks aren't the eating machines that we make them out to be. Which is true, and in that way, it was very good. However, there's the other side. When this all came out, the other side started attacking Ocean Ramsey for harassing this shark. And her most notable criticizer was an actual marine biologist who had this to say. The number one rule of legitimate shark diving operators is don't touch the sharks. This is not shark advocacy. It is selfish self-promotion. Which is 100% true. This is all just self-promotion. This is literally how Ocean Ramsey got her fame, was by taking pictures of herself touching sharks. I'll get more on about her narcissism later, but let's focus more on what the scientist had to say. Harassing a pregnant white shark while she is trying to feed could cause her to leave the meal, impacting her ability to successfully carry her pups to term or reproduce the next cycle. So literally, just by doing what she did and touching the shark enough to bother it would cause it to leave the meal and maybe her pups wouldn't survive. And this just further drives home the point that she is not a real marine biologist. If she were, she would have known this. But she's not, so of course she didn't. Now I'm sorry to stay on one point for too long, but there is more to this, so let's just check it out real quick. Did you know that the very next day after all the videos went viral, there were about 60 people floundering around that dead whale in hopes of having their encounter with a white shark? Guess how many sharks were observed? Zero. Don't you think all those people in the water might intimidate the sharks? Now something like that is so sad to hear. When videos of this came out, of Ocean Ramsey touching the shark came out, it inspired a bunch of other people to do the same. They all went to the same whale and tried to go in and touch sharks. I even heard stories that some people were walking on top of the whale carcass in the middle of the ocean. Like, how do people think that's okay? She's inspiring all these people to go out and do the same things that she does. Now I bet you're wondering, how did Ocean Ramsey respond to all this criticism and backlash she was getting from the scientific community? Well, she gave like five different reasons as to why she did it. Like, first she tried to say that she didn't actually touch the shark. Then she tried to say that it was to protect everyone else in their group. Then she tried to say that the great white shark wanted her to pet him. Like, she keeps changing her story and none of it makes any sense. So let's take a look at her first response, saying that she didn't initially touch the shark. I waited quietly, patiently, observing as she swam up to the dead sperm whale carcass, and then slowly to me, passing close enough, I gently put my hand out to maintain a small space so her girth could pass, she said. This is full of shit. It's so obviously full of shit. There are so many videos and pictures of her touching the shark. Look, I'll play you this one right now. After seeing that, there's no way you can deny that she actually did touch that shark. And if you look really closely, she touched its gills for a second and it visibly flinched. She actually made that shark probably very uncomfortable or maybe even hurt it. 
So yeah, response number one, I didn't touch the shark, full of shit. All right, so the next response where she says that I did it to protect people in my group, I couldn't really find that much on that, but I guess what she was trying to say is I was trying to redirect it, but that, as you can see from watching the video, that too is just so full of shit. She just wanted to touch it. She wanted the attention. She's so narcissistic because that's what she's built her career off of, is taking pictures of her touching sharks. If you really wanted to protect the other divers, just tell them to get out of the water. Don't try to get all and be like, no guys, I got this. The shark needs me. So let's look at response number three. The shark wanted me to touch it. Now I'll start off by saying that there actually is a lot of scientific evidence to show that sharks actually might like being touched. That's not just me pulling it out of my ass, that's me saying that there's a lot of evidence to show that that could be a possibility. However, that doesn't mean you should go up and pet every shark you meet. If you do really want to go cuddle a shark, cuddle one that's like a nurse shark or something that's going to be like all friendly with you. Don't cuddle the most vicious predator on planet Earth. If you think a tiger would maybe like your company, does that mean you'd get in its cage and start like petting it and giving it like little cuddles and stuff? No, because it would rip your face off. And especially if you can clearly see that a shark is pregnant and you know that she desperately needs to eat to protect her pups, then you're def- that's even more of a reason not to go up and give her some good old-fashioned cuddles. Like, come on, dude. This, this really drives home the point that she's not a marine biologist, because like I said before, if she really was, she would know this. But she's not. What's even worse is her response when people criticize her for touching sharks. I found this quote on Reddit, and it really just outlines just how narcissistic she is. Here, I'll, let's give it a read. For those who don't like animals to be touched, if you really cared, you would be spending your energy attacking the people who are cutting their fins off for hashtag shark fin soup or killing them for sport hashtag shark fishing. Not the people who sometimes touch their fins and encourage others to hashtag wake up and look at the hashtag bigger picture and help raise hashtag awareness to stop hashtag finning and hashtag stop shark fishing. Can you believe this? She's getting criticized for something that deserves to be criticized for. And upon getting attacked by this, she's like, Don't attack me! Attack them! They're the bad guys! They're worse than I am! They're the big picture! I'm just- let me keep doing what I'm doing! But they're the bad guys! Why aren't you attacking them? So yeah, she keeps changing her story with this whole I touched a shark thing, and all of her excuses are dog shit. So... Now we're going to take a look at the people she surrounds herself with because she's in charge of her own little diving group that goes to look at sharks. So I did some research. I looked into this diving group that she has. It's called One Ocean. And I went to their Instagram and all of the pictures are just them touching sharks. Like, I'm going to play a few of these real quick just so you can see just how many there are of just them going and touching sharks. Because this is what they're all about. This is their claim to fame, is they go and take pictures of them touching sharks. And they've been doing this for a really long time too. Like look, here's a video I'm about to play you from four years ago, and it's of her riding on great white sharks. In conclusion, I do not like Ocean Ramsey, and I really wish that other people would start to see just what a fraud she is so she cannot do this anymore. But sadly, that's not going to happen. She is way too big and has way too many supporters for her to possibly even reconsider what she's doing. There are always going to be people, no matter what, who are going to defend what she does. So, 
I just thought I'd make this video to shed some light on this and show people that what she's doing is not okay, and she's not a real marine biologist, so, yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.